Hello and welcome to Flash Chapter 5, Lesson 2. Now the very first thing we're going to do, now this is, this is basically adding a sound and based off the instructions and the way this is set up, the sound is added exactly where it's supposed to be added, but it doesn't look right. Don't worry about making it look right, just understand that when you add it together, um, the sound doesn't actually uh, mesh very well with the animation. But I just want you to know all the same. We're actually adding a sound to the animation itself. We're also adding a sound to the button. And the key piece of information here is how to add the sound. So that we're going to click the Stop Movie Layer, and we're going to insert a new layer. So here's our Stop Movie Layer right here. And then we're going to Insert, and we're going to do Timeline, and we're going to do Layer. So there's our new layer there. And we are going to descriptively call this the Car Snind, which is also Car Sound. All right. Now we're going to click on frame 72, which is right about there is our frame 72. And then we're going to insert a keyframe. Now this part where it's talking about inserting a keyframe, we're going to actually place the sound when we import it from here to here. Now that's important to have that section added because if you don't and you add the sound, it puts it way down here. So you want to make sure to insert the sound there. Now, we're going to see if my import, okay, it's not there. So I want to do a file, import, import to library. File, import, import to library. What I'm doing now is I'm going out, I'm grabbing my car sound wave. So someone has pre-made the sound, so it's added to what we're doing. And it's already been pre-designed. If you're creating your own, what would happen is, is you could actually come in here and uh, you could download your own uh, sound, add it in that's appropriate, and go from there. And we're going to, it's going to add the car sound wave file. So if I look in the library, here's my car sound wave file. And it adds a description of what the sound actually looks like. Now we're going to click frame 72, which is this one right here. And then I'm going to drag the car sound symbol to the stage. So I'm going to grab this bad boy right here. And I'm going to grab it here. Now it inserts it starting here. So now, and notice there's my sound file. I can kind of see it. So now basically, and it drags out that sound, and it drives out that sound. So we'll do that again. There you are. Hopefully you can actually hear that. If you can't, right about here, it makes the sound of a car, and it goes. All right. So that's the first one. It says, after releasing the mouse button, notice the wave sound appears. Great. I'm going to change the frame rate uh, to... 12 frames per second, so it goes from 24, I'm going to change this to 12, and you'll notice my car kind of moves a little different. Uh, change the frame rate to all right, control on the menu bar and point to test movie and in flash professional. Uh, control, test movie, in flash professional. So now we have our items that roll in, we've already built previously, road rally, and then you have your car. Now I thought it was always so interesting that... Um, the car doesn't necessarily work too well in the actual flash, but that's okay. So, click the continue button to test the sound. So let's do this again. I want to do uh, control test movie. So control test movie in flash professional. So you go, uh, 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 do it all again. And then here's my click to continue. And the sound is wired to the actual button itself. And then it continues. Okay. So we've done that part so far. Now we want to click frame 71, which is this bad boy, why hell. And then we want to click the selection tool. So we're going to make sure our selection tool is right there. We are clicked. And then I want to scroll the marquee around the click to continue portion. Now what we're doing here is we're adding a sound to the actual continue button. So well, we're going to double click on this right here. It's going to take us to the actual... Uh, button indicators and we want to insert a new layer above the layer one and we're going to call it sound so insert timeline layer and we're going to call this once again very descriptively sound s-o-u-n-d also not that I needed to spell out the word sound but there you go and I want to go around the down meaning when I click it it's going to do this I want to insert blank keyframe so insert timeline blank keyframe. Now I want to click file, import, import to library, file, um, oh, 
that's why I hit the wrong menu. It's like, uh, import, import to library. And then I want to choose the beep wave. Beep. So then it imports it to here. And now it display the properties panel. There's my properties panel of this particular keyframe. And in the name list arrow, which is name, I'm going to call this uh, display the properties. Click the name list arrow and the sound, then click beep.wave. So here's my name. And I want to do, here's my sound. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to call it beep.wave, right? And then click the sync list arrow, and then you're going to make sure it syncs with an event, which is true, meaning that it's going to play the beep in conjunction with the event. And if I look now, what happens is, if I run it, well, I can't click to continue. Let's do, i got to actually um, test the movie. I want to do control test movie in Flash Professional. And now when I click the button, click to continue, it should make a beeping noise. Makes a beep noise and then actually drives on. So you have a combination of things. In each one of the cases, it was just a matter of selecting where you wanted the sound to go. And then you wanted it to combine. And now it beep and beeps and then it drives off. It's actually very interesting. So at this point in time, we've inserted two sounds. We've inserted one sound to be in conjunction with an animation. We inserted another sound to be in conjunction with the... Um, uh, clicking to continue the button itself. Now, if you wanted to expand this further, you could then uh, design or, or there are royalty-free music, sounds, different things on, on the Internet. So you can draw those things in and then utilize them in this particular animation. So if you had a tree and you wanted to do wind, you could make a button appear as a cloud and you click the cloud and it blows wind. Um, you could make the tree rustle and then have tree rustling sounds. I mean, there's lots of things to expand it beyond the, hey, I can make a beep noise and make the car drive away. But at any rate, thank you very much for your time, and we'll see you in Lesson 3 of Chapter 5.